So you get that back to school email and suddenly a summer of ideas of progression, of locking in. All of those things start to begin to fade away and you start to get this feeling coming up from deep down in your stomach, this feeling of like your intestines contorting, these butterflies going like dying <laughs> and not even just like, you know, it's just butterflies dying, you get it. And you're thinking, man, I didn't do as much as I thought I would and this locking in that I thought I would do, it didn't happen really as much as I thought it would. You're not as far away as you believe. You thought that doing this kind of big kind of monk mode period where you just go all in on one thing, you thought that it would just happen like that when you were really neglecting the, the actual inputs of it. Because I think you could agree with me that a law of the universe is for every effect, there is a cause, you know, cause and effect. The thing is you're focusing on an effect you're focusing on the body the woman the money those kinds of things when you've forgotten what actually works and what really works is focusing on the cause no i'm not just going to tell you to like think about the stuff that you want to get done and then think about like the root of actually getting to those things because those are good but the thing is you know that you know to get to the places you want to get to you need to put the inputs of the specific tasks that you need to do the verb actions to actually get to the place that you want to get to you know that but what actually really stops you because you had the intention to lock in and what really happened what happened well you ended up going and you enjoyed those those vices i say enjoyed like i don't really mean enjoyed because you don't actually like enjoy the stuff while you're doing it it's like that instant happiness that kind of thing you did those things and you felt like maybe you were distracted you know you had just so many different things on your mind what ultimately happened was you progressed very little in the things that actually you really felt like did matter the most what the what the truth is is that honestly all of it is just a cope. And this is the brutal advice that no one will tell you because everybody's telling you, you know, get the body, get the, get the, like the material stuff. But the thing is your reality is a reflection of your inner reality. You're focusing right now on everything that the self-improvement industry is telling you to focus on, you know, like lock in, you know, get that money, get the, get the status, get whatever. But the thing is you're forgetting about the, like truthfully, like the, the root of all of it. It feels like you're swimming upstream because you're rejecting the cause. That's just, that's just the first thing I want you to realize. You're rejecting the cause. Well, what is the cause? If we look to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you've most likely heard of this, this pyramid of this idea of self-actualization. At the bottom, you need air, food, water, shelter, sleep, those kinds of things. And the truth is you might be neglecting these kinds of things. And there's this idea of hustle culture and hustle culture. Sure. It has its place. There are times in your life where you have to, where you have to do these things and you have to like, you know, grind really hard. The reason why you're not able to do the verb actions, the verb tasks that you know, you should be doing the things that actually bring you to the place you want to get to the reason why every single day, sometimes you forget about what actually needs to be done, what you set up for yourself, the previous days, the reason for that is your mental health, because that is the cause that is the, the, if you once you get your physiological needs your psychological needs that's when you can actually go to the next step because that is what it actually takes you need to feel safe you need to you need to feel safe think about with with hormonal optimization the only way that like testosterone like an actual hormone actually gets secreted more is when cortisol goes down because they share the same precursor they they're created with cholesterol right and so this is just like a a more like physiological example and the truth is is that when you feel less stressed your body it starts to create more testosterone so you start to store fat in different ways you start to like not need to store fat as much and then you start to get everything in your life feeling better the thing is hormonal optimization usually starts with your hormones and your hormones dictate a lot of your mental health and those kinds of things so i tell you do you feel safe do you feel like you're in a constant struggle do you feel that because the truth is the reason why you're not able to do the work the reason why you don't have this this zest this vitality is because you are stuck not stuck in the external but you are stuck in your mind it feels like you're swimming upstream because you're rejecting your mind you're rejecting the cause the effect is your reality and the vices that you give yourself these some people they have it with food some people have it with watching self-improvement videos because then at one point they in their life they were super bad in the rut and then they watched those things and they got out of the rut and the thing is now they're back in the rut so they keep watching the videos but what they don't realize is that what really actually got them out was the taking of the action it was the hope that those videos gave them the truth is is that you are addicted to this hope you are addicted to the temporary relief that this this artificial hope gives you you only create the hope within yourself when you prove to yourself that you are able to be the kind of guy that sticks to the things that you can stick to the things that you know you should be sticking to the things that make your reality 
a new reality and it all starts with your mind because if you cannot conquer your mind you cannot conquer the world because it, everything it is all from the internal this brings me to the concept of attention where your attention goes is basically like imagine a bicep curl to how you see your life how you see your reality so if you're always looking at the negative things if you're always looking at the lack of things that you do not have you always are in a state of lack if you were looking at the good things the more positive things that things that are in your life the abundance when you see those things you get more of the abundance but what does this actually mean this this type of thing this kind of thing that the spiritual people like to talk about is more about the mental health because again it all starts with your mental health wouldn't you agree when when spiritual people say as within as without wouldn't you agree that if you had more of the the mental health the mental clarity because when you do have better mental health you have better mental clarity because you're able to take action when you take action you get the the next step in mind and then you end up taking more action it's like a nice positive loop the thing is right now you're in a negative loop you are in a state of not taking action feeling bad about yourself and then <laughs> like not taking action more because you feel like you feel worse about yourself and it just becomes worse and worse and worse and worse and worse so i want to give you actionable steps actionable steps to integrate this as within as without and while i do say don't chase happiness because the more you want happiness the more you think about that the more you think about happiness is the more you remind yourself you're unhappy while i do say that i've realized recently that you also still need to do the things that are good for your mental health without the expectation of happiness and once you do have that once you do have that then it comes to you step one go to the description of this video and do the three free mental health tests that all three take together like only take two minutes and actually have a quantifiable number to what your mental health is actually like right now because chances are your mental health is actually worse than you realize i thought my mental health was actually pretty good and then i saw i had like a depression score of 39 that's like slightly more than the the half of the depression score so i just thought that that was really interesting then i realized well i'm focusing on so many of the progression so many of the things i'm starting to realize more and more that maybe i'm not actually happy and maybe like that that lack of happiness causes me to not be able to do the things that i want to do because this lack of work this lack of energy this lack of just whatever you want to call it not even just in the like going to do your workouts just this again zest this vitality that you have for your life that starts with your mental health and if you have good mental health if you had good hormones and you felt safe then you'd be able to actually like build from there you if you do not have a strong base in your pyramid you will not be able to get to the next base like to next to the next stage of your development all right it is one workout later i know crazy transition am i right on the messiah my nipple almost fell out during that workout muay thai is fun in any case here are the steps, the actual tangible steps you can take right now to start actually fixing the internal so that the external starts to match your internal. Because again, to reiterate, your external, your reality, the one that you see is simply just a reflection of your internal reality. I want you to really, really think about that and let that sit with you for a second, okay? So after you've let that sit with you, after you've taken these mental health tests, you need to do a hard reset think about when your computer is acting up and you're not able to actually use it it's just like doesn't work in your thing in your thinking man shitty ass computer huh well what do you do you totally fully turn it off and then you just reset it you turn it back on of course you have these startup programs that it takes some time it's a little bit slow but then it starts to get momentum because it has these startup programs already right it starts to starts to download those startup programs you start to figure out what you need to do you get momentum and how do you do a hard reset well you need to do a nervous system reset your nervous system is your basically your brain your eyesight right now you're overwhelmed that's pretty much you're watching so many youtube videos you're overwhelmed you're getting so many just ideas on what to do you have so many ideas on where your attention should be going and all those attention like all those attention misplacements is making you forget about what really matters now i want you to close your eyes right now and i want you to really picture that goal the end point what you really see for yourself sure it might be a little bit intangible a little bit maybe like an idea that's okay that's okay because eventually your brain will just figure it out in itself right so we need to do a nervous system reset so either there's two options for this because there's two different kinds either you can just set a timer on your phone let's say 20 30 minutes and this is if you cannot fall asleep right now if you can fall asleep right now and just go to bed and like go to bed early you can wake up whatever time if you cannot go to bed you do these things that is option one go to bed option two the nervous system reset aside from actual sleep do non-sleep deep rest now i've talked about this before there's 
two different ways to do this. Now, the two different ways include one, set a timer on your phone either 20, 30 minutes and simply just relax and let go of everything. With every breath, think about yourself sinking deeper when you exhale, when you ex exhale, exhale. When you exhale each breath, think about your body sinking deeper. Think about every single muscle, every single limb of your body individually and call out to it just in your head. If you don't want to do that exactly and, and you can just like let go by yourself, that's good. The other option is to go down to the description and under those three mental health assessments, there's also a non-sleep deep rest one. It's my favorite one that I always like to do when I need to have a nervous system reset myself. Now you can do this when you do a bunch of deep work blocks or you do like a bunch of exercise and you need to get like quick energy, like like 20, 30 minute energy that's like kind of like a mini power nap. This is a specific power nap. It's not just those kinds of things that end up, you know, feeling a bit like um, groggy after. I haven't noticed that 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 doesn't happen for me with these ones. Non-sleep deep rest, you do that, you set an alarm because in the second case, if you do fall asleep with the video, you should still have that alarm and so that it jolts you up. It actually leverages your stress response to actually give you the right surge of stress that is good for your hormones, the quick sudden burst. Now step two, we need to figure out your basic needs are actually being met. Now what does that actually mean? You need to feel safe, just like I was talking about before. Your safety, it actually impacts your hormones completely. It impacts them, it makes them like change in, like like heavily. So if you do not feel safe and you're in a constant state of stress, not just like like quick little bursts of stress, then what will end up happening is that these prolonged stress, the cholesterol that's supposed to become testosterone ends up becoming cortisol, and then you start getting a bunch of health, like nuance, like just health bad stuff, you know what I mean? So we need to make sure you're sleeping enough, and again, part of the non-sleep deep rest or just sleeping right now if you can. Make sure you have that nervous system reset so that you actually start anew, start blank, start fresh like a new page. And beforehand, what you can do is you can even just like have a meal or something like that if you're really hungry. Don't overstress, don't overeat in this type of case. I understand it can be a crutch that a lot of people place for themselves. Just like I was talking about, you know, the self-improvement videos, the food, the video games that can be crutches, just cope for your mental health. After you've met your basic needs, you know, your sleep, your rest, you feel safe, you have gotten your water. After you've done those things, what you wanna think about is what you actually want. When I say what you actually want, I don't mean these things that everybody tells you you want. I, I don't mean these different business ideas that everybody tells you you want, the books that everybody wants you to read. I mean, what does your actual inner child, your curious inner child, what do they actually want to do? Because a lot of the time, you know, they tell you, escape the rat race, you know, do that. Well, they say, escape the rat race, you know, skip the nine to five, but actually do this instead. But that's not the fix. Sure, you might find a fix that's not necessarily in the nine to five, but it might not necessarily be in the way that they are saying. Your path is your path alone. And what works for other people, it works for them because they have discovered that path for them. There's this chapter in my favorite book called The Way of the Superior Man. And in this chapter, it says, live as if your father were dead. What this is symbolic of is your father is not just your father. Your father is also all the people you see advice from. It's me if you watch my videos. It's it's there are other self-improvement videos that you watch. It's all the people you get these little inputs on, but you forget. There's this video on my YouTube channel. It's called Think for Yourself. It's one of the last ones before I started to get like a lot more views on my channel. What I really say in that video I think is entirely important. It's very, very special and it's very particular because the more opinions you take from other people, the, the, the less you think for yourself, the less, the less of an opinion you have for yourself. And so really, what do you want with your own life? Really think about that, meditate on that. I don't mean actually like sit down and like close your eyes. You can just take a pen and paper out and just really just ask yourself that question and ponder it, I'd say for at least 10, 20 minutes like minimum. After you've pursued your curiosity, you figure out what you actually wanna develop in. And chances are, if you take away the idea of the superficial things like the video games, like those kinds of things, the fake stuff, all the all the stuff that you know is actually bad. What do you actually wanna progress in? What actually feels good instead of feeling bad? What are those things that you know are good? Because chances are you might actually get fulfillment from actually working on your body. Chances are you will get fulfillment by just asking yourself what you find grateful for. Like you're going to read a book that you actually think is interesting, not just because somebody told you to read it, but because you actually thought it was interesting. And this is different than the quick stuff, the quick YouTube videos that honestly, and if I were to say it, and it's, it's kind of counterintuitive for me to say this because it's a YouTube video, the YouTube videos that you are not actually getting much out of. Now there is value in information. There is value 
in that case. However, if you do not make it actionable, if you do not make it the kind of thing that you're able to sit through, what a book is, a book is true education because a book is somebody's heart and soul. A book takes hours upon hours. Of course, they're going to make it amazing. Of course they are. Books, I'm like, I'm just looking at my favorite book right now. This book, you know, you'll find like very, very different books. And again, I say, think for yourself, pursue your own curiosity. I remember for me, I always struggled with my social skills. I was always that quiet guy. And I always, even though if I was still quiet, like I am now, I'm still like more of a quiet guy. And I keep to myself and like my tight knit group, how to influence and influence people. That's the book. That's the book that I was actually curious about. And so if you find something, you think about what you actually want to progress in, progress in it, find that thing. And then progressively overload, just like a muscle in the gym, you start start off you know you can like it's hard to do the weight you do the curl you do whatever you do the movement and then slowly over time you're able to increase the weight and you're able to do more and more and more that's the same idea what you want to do after you do that hard reset with your life blank slate pursue your curiosity continuously add more to the plate and step four this is kind of part of step three but the idea is forget optimization don't worry about every little every advantage that you can get just think about the little things again think about the things that you actually want to do the the optimization that stuff comes later what you need right now is integration you need actionability if, that, if that's even a word that's what you need right now because to get out of any rut requires action i realized it is internally and the thing is like i said it all starts with your mental health how do you do these things well when you get those mental health tests just look at your scores look at your scores your school yeah look at your scores i can't speak <laughs> if you look at your scores really again just sit with yourself and just look at it and think about following your own direction taking your own initiative and actually asking yourself what would i actually enjoy what would how would i actually want to live my life in this way what would actually make me happy what made me happy when i was younger was it climbing trees? Was it jumping over puddles? Was it going outside when it was raining and like freaking dancing or something? Climbing walls or something? Do those things. And when you let out your inner child, your trauma, all of your reactions, they're just a response. Think about you know the body the body ch chances are you don't need to get fulfillment from food if you are getting the fulfillment within in your head and then you can actually push hard because you've got that extra happiness like oh yeah i will do that extra rep because i feel powerful and i will do it that comes from mental health as for the woman why would a woman want to be with a guy who does not seem happy with himself only broken women and it, of course that sounds bad for me to say only women who already are unhealthy in their mind will be with another guy who feels unhealthy in their mind because it feels familiar we accept the love that we think we deserve in any case if you look like happy guy if when somebody looks at you you don't just look away or look down or or, or you just like you don't smile and you just pretend like you're kind of like that no emotion like sigma male or whatever be warm be the kind of guy that smiles when other people looks at them like smile just smile to them and it's such a more magnetic mag magnetic <laughs> magnetic personality trait when you can actually give life and spread positivity and that comes from having life and positivity within when people see that they gravitate towards you because everybody wants to have more life everybody wants to have more positivity in their dreary lives be the guy who is the light in the world of others and when you can do that when you can cultivate the light within then you can be the light for other people. And I won't tell you those conventional things right now, like meditation, like gratitude, because those things worked for me. And they were actually good advice from other people. Truthfully, what actually makes you happy? Because for me, gratitude has always made me happy. That's for me is what happiness is. Like recognizing the things that actually, like I'm happy that I have this light because you can see me. I'm happy I have this microphone that you can't even see because it makes the video quality a little bit better. I'm happy that I got to Muay Thai today and I was able to still do my workout even though like I wasn't really feeling that up for it today. I still went and I still pushed. I'm grateful for those things. That is happiness and that is increasing the amount of, what's the word? When you are grateful for the, for the happy things, for the things when you actually put in the work, then what that actually it reinforces the personality that died too bad because bro was cooking in any case it reinforces the identity of the person that you want to become because the only difference between the person who has everything that you want and yourself is your habits because if you change your habits if you become more happier internally why did that sound so weird if you if you become more happier internally and you water the seeds of the things that you actually want to grow in your life with your attention then you as a result will grow and you will grow exponentially because you will have the right food remember inputs and outputs cause and effect have the right 
water in your mind. Have the right nutrition in your mind to supply the growth of everything that you want in your life. And don't let yourself be put in a box of everybody else's everybody else's desires and ambitions that have been influenced by other people. Nobody really knows what they want. Be the 1% man who actually does know what he wants and trust in his own direction. And when you find the direction that you want to take yourself in, of course, have humility. Of course, know that you don't know everything and, ex and seek guidance from other people. But it's only when you know your authentic truth for yourself that you should go and intentionally consume for that exact purpose. Take action. Do the action steps. I love you, bro. Good night.